welcome back to another show. Today we are in interviewing a number of candidates of the Treasure Hunter PTA. Ms. Da Ms. Damilola, how about you tell us about yourself? Good afternoon. My name is Damilola Isikalu. I have two children in Avicenna. We've been here for about four years. And I'll be running for the post of the Treasurer for the PTA Association of Avicenna. Okay, so, so can you can share you your experiences, experiences and proficiency in financial management, especially in handling budgets and financial reporting? How would you ensure accurate and transparent financial records for our PTA? Okay, so I run a business, I'm an I'm entrepreneur, and I've been running my business for about seven years. So the financially, you would do some budget planning, would do some financial discussion with the school, we work with the school and the parents and would have some budget planning. When we talk about budget planning, we would work with the school, for whatever the school gives us, we we'll work with it to make sure the PTA runs fine and also make sure everything runs fine with the school financially. Not the school, I mean, I mean with the PTA association. Okay, as the PTA treasurer, how do you plan to diversify our fundraising initiatives? And what strategies do you do? Okay, for fundraising, you know what the economy in Nigeria is saying now? It's difficult to just say, oh, you could bring money, you bring money. So we can have events like fun fairs, things that we can do to bring parents to come in to raise funds for the PTA instead of putting all the financial burden on the school. So we can raise funds by having fundraiser events. Um, thank you. How would you prioritize spending to ensure okay. that essential programs and activities are adequately funded? Okay, so we basically get funds from the school because we know every parent pays for PTA every term. So if we need anything from the school, we'll talk to the accountant, the school management, we'll work with them to provide funds for the school, for the PTA association. Okay. How do you plan to communicate financial information to the PTA members? Financial information? Yeah, through our meetings. Financial info. Every money we spend, everything that, any money that goes out or comes in, we'll, we'll have a spreadsheet and discuss it at every meeting with the with the school PT association, um, transparency. How do you plan to collaborate with the PTA chairperson and other members to align financial goals with the border objectives of the PTA and the school? Continuous communication, continuous communication. We'd always have meetings, we'd always discuss, we'd always set priorities when it comes to finances, what needs to be done, what, needs, what is more important than the other, and we always work with the school in everything we do, with the school accounting department. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am.